evening. Environmental cleanup, that's what has to happen at the GE campus before any new development can happen. And News Channel 15 Sarah Schaefer talked to the developer today and has more on what has to occur before anything can happen at the old industrial plant. The 31 acres here off Broadway were once home to industrial effects like pollutants and asbestos. But now as developers move forward, they have to make sure that the campus is safe for an entirely different type of development. Before any construction on the GE site can begin, there's that crucial step of cleanup. And future plans require much different conditions than those for industrial sites. It was a factory, and uh, it was a factory that was built 100 years ago. And the byproducts of any factory uh, that are disposed of uh, now are not, not, were not necessarily disposed of as properly a uh, hundred years or so ago. The campus is in Councilman Jeff Paddock's district. He's been told there will need to be remediation while still keeping the buildings in place, but it's minimal. I was told the same today. There's nothing that we see here that we haven't seen in other similar sites. Uh, that would give us pause in moving forward with the development. Developers predict what they call typical conditions. Things like asbestos that would have been uh, used for uh, uh, fire retardation in the, in the past or lead-based paint. Uh, all those things will have to be taken out of the building. They'll also check the soil for any contamination that happened if there was a spill. GE was credited for their stewardship over the years with keeping data. Now developers are getting their hands on that information. Our job now is to go through all of that data and really get our arms around everything that's, uh, that's happened on the site historically and then the remediation efforts we'll need to take going forward. Now as we have mentioned before, the developers do want your input on what to bring down here. We've put a link on this story on Wayne.com for that website where you can give your input. Reporting from Broadway, Sarah Schaefer, News Channel 15.